Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize, see who we might get. Last episode, double deaths. Not feeling great about that, but this time we've got the Forgotten. Good, good, good. I do like a Forgotten run every now and again. You can get some weird synergies going on with this guy. Yeah, I need to fix this. What's going on with this? One on custom mod data of Repentance Plus wasn't loaded. The mod could work incorrectly. Custom mod data will be properly loaded in next time you start a new run. That's untrue. I've rebooted the game multiple times since this. So I'm not exactly sure why that's showing up. Um, one second, one second. I'm going to screenshot this. Okay, let's continue onwards. I'm not quite sure what that error is about, but I've let the dev know and uh, we'll just we'll just see. We'll just see. But yeah, we're still playing on obviously the new patch. Lag is less pre uh, present at the moment. It's very happy to see it. It's very, very nice. Uh, we'll just see what we can do with this guy. Super Bowl. Not particularly good as this character, I'll admit, but we'll take it nonetheless. I can use my ghost form every now and again and maybe get some use out of it. Excuse me, big farty bean things. Ooh, that was, that was a little, I don't know why I did that. That was a little risky. These fires that these guys put out are still horrendous, but otherwise things aren't too bad. Oh God, look at this. Ah, I don't know why the fires that glow red are so much worse. Strange. Um, we do have two item rooms to find on this floor. Let's make sure we get both of those. We got some mini Isaacs chilling with us. Uh, and as for the question of the day today, because um, I saw that Elden Ring got announced as the game of the year just recently, what is your game of the year? What is your personal game of the year? That'd be very interesting to know. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure there'll be a wide variety of things that people are talking about, but it'd be interesting to know what your game of the year is. I... I'm not sure. I think I kind of agree that Elden Ring is. I still haven't finished Elden Ring, but I've got about 50 hours in it, and I've got to say, it is an absolutely just fantastic game. So it might well be that that is my game of the year, um, which I know is a bit boring considering I'm literally just copying what the uh, what they voted for, but it is just a very, very good game. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones that would be definitely on that list. There's been a lot of good stuff coming out recently. A lot of good stuff indeed. Okay. Um, Blood Puppy, could you do us a kindness and make sure I don't get hit? I don't know how you do that. Oh, I was just about to say I'm looking for a bomb. Thank goodness it gave me one. If I get another few bombs, I can try and get those chests there. Actually, what am I talking about? I can just get this chest like this. How to jump. Not particularly amazing, but does have some usages. And it allows us to move around a bit quicker. Eh, uh, gimme. Gim go on, get. There you go. And there's our second item room. We've got Double Brother Bobby. I think I'll take Double Brother Bobby. Just because it gives us um, extra towards conjoined. It, Brother Bobby himself, honestly, not all that good as everyone knows. But, oh god, that was, that was close. Ah, ah, you fucker. Okay, let's not use our ghost form anymore, because I could actually die if I do. Saying that, I do kind of want to use my ghost form to grab this. And also, honestly, hitting this guy with melee sounds like a bad idea. But we're going to need some serious HP soon, because um, not looking so hot there. But here we go. There you go. He's feeling a bit better. And I think... Do we go for the other tinted rock, or do we go for that stone chest? I think we go for the other tinted rock, right? Eh, probably would have been better to go for the other thing. But there you go. We got this. That's fine. Let me have a look on Steam, actually. What's some other games that are, like, game of the year um, worthy? Du, 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 du. What's Inscription this year? I don't remember. There's a lot of good ones. It's hard. To, it's really hard to pick one out. Really hard to pick one out. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it all. Okay, of course, we do have two bosses here. I kind of completely forgot about that. I'm going to try and use my brother Bobby's here to get some damage in, but I'm, I'm not going to sacrifice my um, burn hearts to do that. Good, good. Lovely. Uh, range is pretty nice, but the it's not a great item overall. Oh, false sake. Why do we always get this boss? This boss is really bad for the Forgotten as well. But we've managed to enter him into his second phase very, very quickly, actually. 
So maybe the extra brother Bobbies are doing a doing a kindness for us here. And yeah, maybe the extra brother brother Bobbies. Honestly, I think they are. I think I think having these extra brother brother Bobbies is just we're dealing a really high amount of damage early game. Wouldn't normally have this much firepower coming out. It's kind of crazy how how much that's augmented. Unfortunately, the corn kernel isn't exactly something we're looking for, but we could get the corn boy. We have some interesting stuff here. Um, we have Damocles, which is, of course, fantastic, and this, Solomon. I think I want to take both. I think I want to go like that and take Solomon, and then like that and switch. And I don't want to use Damocles until I'm about to see my next item. But Solomon, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Right, let's let's continue on down. I'm going to go normal path, considering we've got Damocles here. This is a very risky run. Um, Blessing of Enigma. I can't remember what that does. Let's go and have a little look-see, shall we? Some blessings. Blessing of Enigma. Every item shifts between itself and its opposite. Okay, that's pretty decent. <laughs> Especially, actually, considering we're going to have Damocles for our item room. So, yeah, we don't want to pop Damocles until it's necessary. Um, we do have to be a little careful, because as soon as we get hit, it's going to activate it. We got Fat Boy here doing this thing. I really want him de want him to be deactivated ASAP because he's going to be a real problem. Otherwise, he's taking a while to deactivate. To be honest, if you have a bomb, bombing him's the best way from what I've found. So what I'm going to do is to not unnecessarily add on to the timer. I'm going to leave the item room to last. I'm going to I'm going to try and do as much of the floor as I can. Hoping I get a soul heart relatively soon. Um, ooh, Cricket's Cranium. Um, what's That is 0 0.5 damage, 2 times damage multiplier. Prevents your damage from going higher for the rest of the run after being picked up. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Again, that's one to leave there for now. That's a really cool item, but we've got no damage ups thus far. I feel like limiting our damage to just 10 is, is not great. I feel like that's not enough. Right. What the hell? Oh, I see, I see, I see. It'll bridge the gap for me. I was a little confused for a while there. We also got a Morbid Heart in our Burn Heart, which is fantastic. Okay, with these guys, we just have to hit them with any tier, so it doesn't matter if we hit them with Brother Bobbies, which is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. This isn't an XL floor, is it? Oh no, because we've, we've got the uh, blessing, of course. We can't have a curse and a blessing, I don't think, at least. Nice, nice. I would like our ability to use our soul at some point, though, here. Dirty mind. Oh, okay. I was like, where the fuck do we get dirty mind from? But it's Solomon, isn't it? Yeah, of course, it's Solomon giving us it, which is pretty nice. I, I do love dirty mind. It's pretty good to have. By the way, I'm not using my AWOS right now because we might get an item, so we might as well wait until we've popped our um, Damocles. Right, we've cleared out pretty much everything on this floor. So I think we want to go back over this way. Basically, I'm going to see if I get damage ups before I want to see if I take the Cricket's Cranium item. So I don't think right now it's a good idea. It's such a cool item, but I feel like it could be a terrible idea. Oh no, I lost Dirty Man so fast. <laughs> My fattest of boys, calm down. There you go. Quickly check this out. Nah. Right. Okay. I don't think I want to take Cricket's Cranium unless we get some damage up right here. Alright, so I think Air Walls can go here. Yeah, there you go. We pop Damocles, go in here. We did get a good damage up there. 
We got the Demonic Talisman. Uh, we'll go down here, see what we get. We did get two items. We got Eternal Bombs and Compound Fracture. Okay, I've just realized my mistake here. I'm going to have to be... I'm going to have to time this exactly right. Damn it, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, got it. And then the other one, we want Black Market. <clears throat> right. I'm, I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to go and do the boss first. I realize it's going to run the timer down, but I'm sure I'm going to get some more damage. If I can get like a um, pentagram or something, then we're going to be laughing. Okay, we've been hit already. Bad start. That means uh, we have activated our thingy already. That's not good. We did indeed get damage up, so I'll definitely take that. And honestly, I think now I can take it pretty, pretty happily. Um... Yes, I think I'll take that. Because it has a chance to turn things into burn hearts too. Right, so it is act Damocles is now active, which is scary. Because this is quite early on in the run and we're having to backtrack. But now, we've got 10.5 damage. So doubling it is actually fine. So I'm going to take the Cranium now. I realise that I could get more damage later on. But I think it's the best way to play this. Oh, what the fuck? I was not expecting that. Okay, and I think I'll take tier game here. So we're now stuck at 22 damage, but but on the other side of that, we're stuck at 22 damage. So actually, 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 ooh. bad options. I am pedestals. Alternate between. I'm gonna try that out. I uh, what? Excuse me. I have the black card. I should be able to buy this for. I think the black card's broken. Doesn't matter that I got enough money anyways. Basically, my, my gamble with bad options here is what just happened there is that when it cycles, it'll spawn a new item. Because I didn't realize that happened. That's kind of interesting. I'm curious. But yeah, we're at 22 damage already. That's pretty crazy. We can't go any higher, but at the same time, I don't think we can go any lower either. So that's going to be pretty nice. We still haven't got a soul heart yet, unfortunately. Ow. But here's a soul heart coming in in a second. Good, good. We finally have one. Clockwork. Tick tock. Why not? Check for a soul heart in here. Ooh, lots of money though. Lots of money. Make sure we don't accidentally press the soul of Lazarus there, but we do have that for the time being. Rather nice. Yeah, I just have to remember that I do have bad options and I could accidentally press it. Uh, I could accidentally take a bad item if I'm not paying attention. Because I, I guarantee I will do that over the course of this run at some point. By the way, this active item, essentially it kills one enemy a room. Um, ooh, I'll take that instead. Essentially it's going to kill one enemy a room for us. Um, and we can charge it up. And the more we charge it up, the, the better reward it'll give later on when it procs. Uh, sorry, when it procs, when we use it outside of combat. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's The, the thing I like about Immersed is it's basically just one free kill every single room. Which is pretty awesome. The only downside to it is it does have an activation time. So getting that one free kill isn't always valuable unless you would be slower killing the enemies without using it sort of thing. Okay, tier game is going crazy right now. Uh, I think I'm going to take this. Bridge bombs. Right. Good, good. We have 
Okay, Cyclone would do three items here, which is interesting. Didn't expect that. So we don't want to take the damage up. I think we want to take the um, Scuttle, which is decent enough. And then I think I definitely want this. Beggars have a 25% chance to respond off of being bombed. Okay, no, we'll just take what we got. And then we've got... Oh, we got Mega Blast. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I can use... My soul of the lost here, can't I, to uh, grab this for free? I realize I was just getting started with this, but honestly, you never see Mega. You, like, never see it. I've got to take it. <laughs> it's just too good not to. What does Soul of Job do? Soul of Job adds one's broken heart um, and removes a random item from your inventory. Spawns three random items from the current rune pool. Only two of the items can be taken. If you only have one item, only two will spawn. It does give us broken hearts. I'm a little wary to use that, but that's, that, that seems like it could be pretty good. Why did I think I had flight? Probably going to lose a Lemmigate and Wisp here, but it is what it is. We lost both of them. They're basically freebies, though. They come and go, so that's fine. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Tier game is wacky. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> now, the problem is here. I need I need to test this. First of all, let's go find a secret room. We need to get our item room actually first. Cause is it one of those broken hearts where it removes a heart as well? Because if it is, it's not great. If it isn't, fantastic. We take Contagion here. And I don't want the other thing yet. Actually, I'll take the Quarter. <laughs> right. Find a secret room. This could potentially be absolutely insane. This has the potential to be redonkulous. But it really depends on how it works. So. Eternal Heart is lovely. Right. Use this. It did work the way I thought it would. Good. Okay. What did it remove from us? I don't know. Um, so we want that. Okay. I think we want seven leaf clover. We got red chains, fistful of ash, golden champion belt. I think we want... Uh, actually, golden champion belt doesn't do anything for us, does it? Um, let's, let's have a look here. So... Roughly 33% chance to spawn a red pillar on entering a new room. Red pillars can be unlocked to spawn a portal to a random red room connected to the map. Seems really cool. And then we've also got... Tinted rocks have an um, odder visual. Breaking tinted rocks spawns a half heart and uh, grants a fading damage up. More tinted rocks. Breaking tinted rocks also has a sufficient chance to remove a broken heart. Oh... Boy, okay, this is kind of crazy. This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, I took the wrong one anyways. Doesn't matter, this item's really cool. <laughs> I took the wrong one. Um, I think we want the Keeper's Sack here. And then we've got Spirit Shackles, Alpha Coin. Just Spirit Shackles and Alpha Coin, okay. Okay, but this is pretty interesting. Damn, I, that, the way to remove Broken Hearts then would have been pretty good. We have to be a little careful. Can I add Broken Hearts to my soul version? I don't know. Just quickly bomb in here and see what's going on in here. So much potential. So much potential. How could you do this to me, game? This run had everything. It was... It was beautiful. It could have really been something. And you drop Damocles on me. Not ten minutes after I proc it. Oh, I mean, I knew that there was a chance. Because I was taking a lot of time. But, basically, my gambit here was... 
play with these souls of Job. Get really crazy stuff from the set, uh, from the secret room, but in the process, get a one up of some kind. Now the one up item can appear in thingy. Okay, okay. Let me just try something. Let me just try something. This is cheating as hell, but let me just try something. Okay. I just want to see. There's R key there. There's rock bottom there. Will, basically, my, my question is, will the dagger still fall as it would have done? Okay. Aki's pretty worthless, I'll be honest. Because <laughs> it's going to drop on us and kill us anyways. I'm not going to take Aki. It sounds, it sounds like a pussy way out, but I'm not going to take it. I feel like it's just a bad idea. Right. It hasn't fallen yet. <laughs> I'm intrigued now. I'm intrigued. Right. As my soul form... What happens? Okay, I can get Broken Hearts as you as well. We got the piggies. We've got flight. Right, last one. We've removed Damocles. Hold up. Hold the fern. Remove Transcendence. Just go with Keeper's Kin. We got whatever this is. When you're hit, your failure haunts you in the form of a ghost. Sounds kind of funny. Oh, there was Spin down there. Bollocks, didn't see that. Anyways. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this, uh... This this was kind of interesting. This was kind of interesting. <laughs> We've kept the run alive via cheating. There's one of the red pillars. Dude, can you can you not? Can you not waste my time like this, please? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that that was that was really interesting. <laughs> I don't really know what to think. That's so cool. I love that. I don't even know what we ended up losing over the course of that. Like, what items did did we keep and what items didn't we? I really don't know. Did we lose anything really good? Anyways, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen and continue on with our run. It doesn't count as a true win. But we're going to keep this run going regardless. Oh my god. But yeah, now it's like I actually probably should have taken... Um, I probably should have taken Thingy now. Aki, because I would have I been able to utilize it. Damn, I can't get over there. I don't know what my health's currently at right now. Contagion's doing a very good job right now for some reason. Popping off. I don't really need all this money that's dropping right now. Ow. Probably lost a, a burn heart here already. What's with all these rooms? Stop with these, please. Got him. Ipecac? Oh lord. By the way, I think um I think bad options is broken, because this is a quality two. It should be giving me quality zeros. 
Isaac will forfeit his coins, keys, and bombs. 3% chance to take an angel deal every time I pick up his... I... Sounds interesting. I'm going to go for it. Why not? Oh, there's a mega chest there. I didn't see that. Right. Oh my god, this thing with brimstone. I didn't think about this. I'm just gonna go. Did not think about this. Oh god. Okay. Guess this is happening now. That was a bit of a waste of Mega, I'll, I'll admit. A little bit of a waste of Mega. But, there we are. <laughs> Didn't realise that would work the way that, that it did. Was interesting nonetheless. But yeah, it runs like this, where we have all this potential. Something cool could happen. And then the game just, like, drops down the on our head. It, it's, it's, it's kind of like a little bit of this, little bit of that. It's like, we shouldn't really be playing on this run. We should have just forfeited. But it was so early into the episode, and the run has such cool potential. Let's just keep it going. I mean, we've got Rock Bottom. We've got the, uh, the Soul thing. We've got a bunch of Luck. What was the other really good item we got? Dude, so much money. But yeah, this item seems really good. This one that steals, steals your pickups and gives you a 3% chance to get teleported to the angel deal with every one. I really like these things. This is a really cool idea. Abyssal bombs. Right, let's carry on down the way we were going before. What the hell? It opened and nothing happened. Thanks, I guess. God damn, all the spiders we're getting. It's crazy. Both pretty bad items, but we'll accept it. Mr. Dolly. TM Trainer. Boy. Could this run get any wackier? Let's do it. Why not? Why the hell not? This run's already pretty crazy. Let's add some more crazy into the mix. Oh, that was 73 cent. What the hell? There's going to be some really messed up stuff that goes on pretty soon here. Come on. Thank you. Oh, dude. Really? They put me this far back? I don't have to traverse all of this again. I'm liking our TM Trainer glitchy face that we got going on. But yeah, we have to trips all the way back. But yeah, this this runs this runs kind of messed up, right? I feel like Rock Bottom is going to be very good to have right now. Do I still have Ipecac? I don't think I do. Oh, no. No, I do. I do. They're just not exploding every time for some weird reason. I'm not, I'm not taking that one just because we're so close to the boss. Oh, I think we crashed. That's unfortunate. Right, one second. Okay, so unfortunately I did have to skip over the mum fight because the game just kept crashing. Um, but we're back. Also, the the game seems to have, have, have like majorly bugged out on coming back in, and my face is now constantly doing the um, the mega blast face, and it's it's pretty hilarious. I really like it. <laughs> um, we still have TM Trainer going here. It's pretty wacky. We'll see what happens. There's bound to be some. Strange tomfoolery going on here, uh, but I'll, I'll just take a random item and see what happens. Why not? This one's a, an active. Oh, this one just spawns enemies, I see. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's not very useful. <laughs> Unfortunate, that's not very useful. Okay, there's a lot of money about here, what the hell. Okay, my, my blood puppy boy is doing his thing. These guys are all just chilling, hey. Unfortunately, we lost our Ipecac as well. It is what it is, unfortunately. It is what it is. But yeah, we've got past the crash, I hope, and we'll continue forward. But this has been a really weird run, and I really like that. <laughs> this is the run that should have never existed. I do kind of like the rewind feature, though, for, for doing that, for like undoing a death, because on runs like this, oh, the game crashed. Okay, the game is crashing a lot, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, while, while I was trying to get the game going again, it crashed, like, every single time so we might just be stuck that is unfortunate but with runs like these as i was gonna say it's kind of like getting to see the run that never was i like that idea anyways i hope you guys enjoyed regardless and i'll see you guys in the next one